Hey guys, it's me, Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Brown. And if you would like to see how I created this fabulous work of art, Honey She's Rich Pop Art Fish, then stay tuned and here we go. So first start off in the mirror and say, oh my God, I look a mess. Then you can proceed. So basically my brows have been glued down. Oh my God, I look so horrible. I put some white powder over my brows to conceal it. And I put in some black contacts just to kind of make the look stand out more because it's a black and white character. And go ahead and start painting your face. I'm using Miron's um, Paradise Water Activated Paints. It's a very reasonable price and it goes on good. Um, yeah, so do that and come back. Okay, so the thing about these paints, sometimes they don't go on as smooth. I don't know if it's because I'm darker skin. Maybe it goes on better on white people. I don't know. And if anybody considers this white face, sue me. So basically, after you have all the cream whites on, set it with the white translucent powder or clown white powder. I already did what one eye. I'm doing the other eye. Basically, the eyebrows are actually paper black paper to make it look more realistic in a way more 3d and the bottom lashes that you see are actually paper as well so right now i'm doing the outlining with black mirror paradise paint or whatever black liquid you have the nice skinny brush and start doing the outlines of the eyes and then filling them in and then basically right here after you have the liner filled in start doing your crease with the same black paint and then blending it out with the black shadow or gray shadow. And for my winged out cat eye effect, I'm actually putting down a piece of black paper again. And once the glue that I'm using, y'all, is Pro's Aid glue or Spirit Gum, whatever you have, and putting it at the corner to give it that cat eye effect. And using some of that same black shadow, shadow and coming inside where you did the lid and just making it look a little more smoky. And then right here, I'm using some black paper and starting my bottom lash. However you want to do them, do it your own way. Right here, skip into the lips. Do your own design or follow your own lip pattern. I'm doing mine in a different shape. That's the beauty of makeup. You can change and re reconstruct the way your face looks. So just do what you think it looks best on you and then we'll come back. Right now, I'm starting with the nose, and I'm starting with the nostril, and you see I'm taking it up. This will give you that kind of narrow nose effect, and then you fill it in. It makes your nostrils look a little more extended, more pointed up, you know, like you're a flight attendant that's stuck up. You know how flight attendants in the airport, they walk with their nose in the air because they think they're sickening because they're a waitress in the air? That's the kind of effect that it will give you. Now, I'm moving on to the actual bridge of the nose and bring it in to give you that narrow contour effect. Now that I got the outline of the nose, I'm starting my contour and I'm bringing it up to my hairline and you can start your contour wherever you think fits best for your face. I'm going for a kind of soft but yet snatched look. And right here, contouring underneath to give my face a more narrow effect. You don't have to do this unless you choose. Coming back to my lip, I'm doing a cupid bow so I can have that effect that my lip is powdered and more sticking out. Now that we have the outlines of the contour, I'm using some gray Miron paint and starting to fill in where we kind of trace, kind of like those coloring but. For those of y'all who are older, remember the watering color books? You put water on them and then they activated the color. Yeah, I'm telling my age. But anyway, and you're just going to fill in the areas that you outlined. This part may seem weird, but even though where our face is pretty much white, so already highlighted, I'm still going back with some white highlight mirror paint to make things look more highlighted, more defined. As you see, it kind of gives you that more 
snatched effect of your face, of your cheekbones. Now I'm coming in with some gray shadow or black if you can really use that and just soften it down and going over those gray paints just to give it a little more dimension. It's all about dimension and building character into what you're doing and giving it life. So going over the same contour areas using the gray shadow. We're almost done guys. Now I'm taking some white clown white powder or translucent but mostly white clown powder and highlighting with the powders over the highlight areas this time around. And I'm doing my signature mold that I do and basically you're done and get ready to reveal your final product. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I hope you guys had a great time with this tutorial. I'm trying to give y'all guys the whole fantasy but it's hard to hold the phone and get the whole look at once but Honey, I showed y'all how to do the face. You add your own pieces to it, your own prosthetics to it. I made me a paper necklace, painted white white lines on it to give it some life. Some earrings, I did the same. The hair, giving you fantasy, honey. She is pageant pop art fish. And the only thing I hate about painting myself so white is it makes your natural whites look yellow. Like my teeth look yellow now, my eyes look yellow. <sighs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Everybody stay blessed, stay beat, and stay beautiful.